Nowhere do the problems faced by Indian fishermen manifest themselves more than at Rameshwaram in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. For many here, fishing is a family tradition practiced over generations. This correspondent was greeted by the sight of fishing boats anchored in the waters of Rameshwaram, the sliver of land linked to the Indian mainland by a small bridge, and of fisher folk going about their daily lives. However, as the population grows, the demand for food grows too, and its consequences are being felt in these waters as fishermen from Sri Lanka and India compete for a bigger catch. Linguistic, cultural, ethnic and religious affinities mark the relations between the people here in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu and those living across the waters behind me in Sri Lanka. But this familiarity brings with it a host of problems, including the arrests of Indian fishermen and their boats by the Sri Lankan Navy. Now, the Sri Lankan authorities for their part claim that the Indian fishermen illegally entered their waters for fishing and use mechanized boats or bottom trawlers, as they are called, which damages the marine ecology. Now, this is a festering issue in India-Sri Lanka bilateral relations and one which has engaged the attention of the authorities concerned both here in India and in Sri Lanka, including Indian Foreign Secretary S. Jay Shankar, who visited Colombo. Local fishermen insist that they are not to blame for their boats inadvertently entering Sri Lanka's territorial waters. <laughs> A fortnight ago, local fishermen went on a week-long strike in protest against seizure of their boats by the Sri Lankan Navy. Indian, Tamil Nadu Indian fishermen go there. Ramayana sir, there are many people who go there. Ilangai Kadar Pudai Nala go there. Adi Kadi Kaidi Sei Rada. Badla Adi Kadi Rada. Kalla Adi Kadi Rada. Mina Orla Padu Sudra Rada. Go there. Nigal Bu go there. Adi Kadi Thoran Nala go there. This is Nala Tamil Nadu Tiru Rada. Mina Orla Rada. Wal Wadar Me. Ramba Kelvi Kuriya Rada. This is Oru Nupathi Munu Vara Rada. Kalamaga Inda Prachana Rada go there. Nanga Tamil Nadu Poru Nala Inda Single Kadar Pudai Nala go there. Adi Yama Padi Kya Poru Rada. Mina Orla Pura Serai Pudi Rada. Padagala Serai Pudi Rada. Inga Walagala Betti Oru Rada. Inga Wal Wadar Rada. Ali Kira Nokamar. India has taken up this issue at regular intervals with Sri Lanka, but without much success, because while India sees it as a humanitarian issue, Sri Lanka feels otherwise. Talk to any fisherman here and every one of them has a similar story to tell, one of apathy and indifference. They are disappointed with the Indian authorities for not doing enough to discourage the Sri Lankan Navy from arresting Indian fishermen who inadvertently enter the territorial waters. They are equally agitated by Sri Lankan Navy's decision to indefinitely confiscate their boats. A large part of the problem lies in geography. The pilgrim town of Dhanushkodi in Rameshwaram is less than 25 kilometers from Sri Lankan territorial waters. Colombo says Indian fishermen flagrantly violate its maritime boundary and fish illegally. This is land's end, quite literally. Behind me is the confluence of the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean. The waters here are contested, partly because of the location of a barren island called Kachatibu. Although India ceded the island to Sri Lanka in the 70s, Sri Lankan authorities say some Indian fishermen continue to illegally enter its territorial waters, fishing in troubled waters, again, quite literally. The Fishermen's Association has forwarded some proposals to Sri Lanka such as allowing Indian fishermen to catch fish for 65 days a year in Sri Lankan waters or permitting Indian fishermen to fish on fixed number of days in a week. But they have not met with Sri Lanka's approval. Ramesh Ramachandran in Rameshwaram for Vion.